Hi class, welcome back. It's week 14, if you can believe it, of creative leadership. And just like in week eight, we're gonna take a little pause before we dive into the last week for an end of course review and reflection. So here again is our little bit of reflection that we met in week eight. And as we did previously, we're gonna use this week to introduce some new material, um, a little bit more than we did in week eight, but really I want you to focus on reviewing and reflecting what we've learned in the second half of this course so you can stride into the last week of this course with clear intention. So if we look back, um, since we did that last review and reflection, in week nine, you recreated your first uh, draft of your portfolio project, your roadmap, your dashboard, and you've been adding to your travel log. In week 10, we focused on knowing yourself. In week 11, we focused on understanding others. In weeks 12 and 13, the past um, two weeks, we've been practicing different creative leadership skills. And in week 12, we had a focus on listening and inquiry. And last week, you got to play around with applied improv and creative visualization. I hope those activities went really well for you. And again, all of these skills that you're learning, I hope you practice over and over again. Before you dive into your review and reflection in weeks 10 through 13, you'll spend a couple of hours exploring what today's thinkers believe the future of business and leadership looks like. You'll start with some more readings from Giles Hutchins. Um, I've been seeing soon to be published book um, called The Firm of the Future. It has been, it's out in the UK already, and it's called The Nature of Business and looks like this. Um, it should be out in the US, in North America, um, in the spring of um, 2013 in time for this course, but I don't know if it's going to look like this or if, if that's going to be the title, but the content will be the same. So you guys are getting to, to be the, some of the first readers of, of his book. And you'll get insights from Simon Sinek on how great leaders inspire action. And like you learned last week, it's all about inquiring. In this case, he focuses on asking why. You get two more chapters from this book on becoming a leader by Warren Bennis, um, which will take uh, which will take you from understanding the basics to forging the future. And again, I didn't make this a required uh, book for the course because you already had two, and um, copyright laws allow me to to actually give you PDFs of up to half of, of a given book for educational purposes, but if you do uh, find this valuable, I, I would really recommend um, you know, buying this book. It's one of those things you might refer to over and over again. He actually has a whole slew of books. This one I found the most useful. And then you'll uh, visit The Guardian's website to watch a short video and read follow-up commentary on qualities that today's sustainability leaders believed to be the qualities needed to meet the challenges of the 21st century, a job that all of you are now well prepared to do. And as you did in your mid-course review and reflection, you'll take time to do an O&R session in nature. And perhaps some of you have been doing this um, ever since then on, on your own time. If you haven't, I would encourage you to do so, but you'll get um, certainly get um, time carved out this week to do it. And you repeat your creative leadership KSU, or knowledge, skills, and understanding that you did in your mid-course review and reflection. And I think you'll find this really useful for clarifying to yourself what you have learned and how you've evolved um, over the last part of this course before diving into your final portfolio project next week. So if you remember, knowledge, skills, and understanding um, is sort of the complete package you need to forward anything. And some people refer to this as head, heart, and hands. Others look at it as the what, how, and why. Okay, so that's it for your introduction to week 14. I hope you really enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you next week in week 15, which is the last week of our course. Okay, take care, everybody.